Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with one of probably the most high stakes blood glucose tests I've done so far, and that is peach mango zip fizz. Now I've already done a zip fizz blood glucose test. You can check that out here. I was so elated to find out that it did not have an effect on my blood glucose at all. So when peach mango came out, it was just yet another delicious flavor to add to the pile until I realized that this has maltodextrin in it. I don't know why they decided to put maltodextrin in here. I really don't know what they were thinking, but like none of the other nutritional information changed, but we know that all carbs aren't created equal. And just because something is two carbs doesn't mean that it doesn't have a significant impact on your blood glucose. So I am gonna test this today and see how it affects me. Getting right into it, this is Peach Mango Zip Fizz. Now, if you've watched this channel for like, you know, 10 seconds or longer, you know that I love Zip Fizz, just about every single flavor, but I do have my favorites and Peach Mango is one of them. If you don't know, Zip Fizz is a, like an energy slash electrolyte mix uh, that a lot of people drink on uh, the keto diet. It has a mixture of B12 vitamins and caffeine and lots of potassium and all sorts of other stuff. And I personally have one every single day of my life. So sometimes it's peach mango, sometimes it's an older flavor, but I specifically wanna test my blood sugar for peach mango today. Okay, looking at the package, it says peach mango zip fizz, healthy energy drink. I'll be the judge of that. Um, okay, zero sugar, B12 energy, hydration, multivitamin, use one to two tubes daily, dietary supplement. All right, let's look at these ingredients. Number one, malic acid. Number two, citric acid. Number three, maltodextrin. Potassium carbonate, calcium ascorbate, or is it acerbate? Oh geez, here we go. Natural peach mango flavor, magnesium amino acid, chelate, potassium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, beta carotene, silica sucralose, potassium citrate, taurine, zinc. Okay, and then that's when we get into the vitamins. We have beetroot, niacin, grapeseed extract, manganese, gluconate. Yep, more vitamins, more vitamins, more vitamins. Riboflavin, number five, phosphate, thiamine, mononitrate, xylitol, copper citrate, and me ooh, <laughs> methylcol, mm, meth, methyl. 2,000 years later methylcobalamin wow okay let's give this a try i am excited and nervous af now guys if you didn't know pro tip like instead of trying to fidget with this safety seal like some sort of noob um go ahead and get you a bottle opener any bottle opener will do <laughs> i'm partial jesus i'm partial to this one but just go ahead it makes your life so much easier you just hook it and snap it, bend and snap, good old Legally Blonde. This is a 28 ounce bottle. It is full pretty much to the brim with ice. So there are about 16 ounces of water in here, which is what they recommend for Zip Fizz. You can hear the fizz. You can smell the peach mango. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Oh my gosh. You guys, I literally forgot to do the number one thing, which is test my resting blood sugar. I have alcohol. I'm gonna clean my finger. All right, looking pretty good. I'm at 71. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, 71. I'm also like 42 hours fasted right now. So comment down below. Do you think the fact that I'm so fasted and this is the first thing I'm gonna have will have like a more extreme or significant impact on my blood glucose or do you think that won't matter? Enough of that, we gotta get to shaking it, okay? I can't believe I poured it and didn't immediately shake. Like, but that's okay. It's still going to be delicious, but let's shake it for science, okay? In three, two, one. Now some people, I'm not gonna mention any names, like will tell you that like you should stir this. Zip fizz is not to be stirred, okay? Zip fizz is to be shaken vigorously, if I might add. <sighs> okay guys, to hoping this doesn't crush my dreams. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, this is just the best tasting thing there is. Like, oh my gosh. This is just delicious. It is my favorite energy drink, electrolyte mix, everything. It is my favorite beverage. And like I said, I have it every day. But this is the only one that has maltodextrin. Okay, guys, I'm going to drink this whole thing. And I'm going to love it. And then I'll be back in 60 minutes and 120 minutes to see what effect it has. I'll check at 30 minutes too. 30, 60, 120. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. Okay guys, it's been 30 minutes. I am coming back to test my blood sugar. Uh, one of the first moments of truth. Pray for me. Whoa, uh, after 30 minutes, we're at 90. Wow, ah, uh, ah, uh, this hurts, I'm not gonna lie, wow. Um, okay, um, I'm just gonna go cry really quick and then I'll be back in like 30 more minutes, like, whoa. Okay guys, we are back, time to test again. Not gonna lie, my spirit's broken. <laughs> Hopefully this turns it around, you know, but like that was a big jump. But don't forget, I was super fasted. So maybe that does have an effect. Comment down below. I want to know your thoughts or am I just trying to rationalize and like this is actually pretty bad. So I'm testing now at the 60 minute mark. <sighs> 97. Like somebody make it stop like make it stop i don't i don't want to know anymore like help me help me like wow 97 hmm okay i'm gonna test again in 30 more minutes just to see if it starts to make its way back down this better be the peak or i'm going to lose it okay i just want you to know that i'm going to lose it Ooh, zip fizz, you done done it now. Mm, 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 mm. Okay guys, I am back. Now I don't know if it's due to the maltodextrin or just the fact that I'm so depressed, but like my stomach actually kind of hurts. Like it actually kind of churns. That feeling that you get when you eat a sweetener that has that sort of effect on your stomach. So I'm just all over the place right now, emotionally. Like I don't even know what to do with myself. It's actually been feeling this way for a while. So I think it might, be directly related to the zip fizz? Oh. I guess I haven't noticed it before because every other time I have zip fizz, like 15 to 30 minutes later, I immediately start exercising. So maybe that pump in my heart rate and stuff like that doesn't really make me notice if it has an effect on my stomach, but I'm kind of feeling it right now and not in a good way. Okay, but it's been 90 minutes and let's just test it like i don't know what to expect anymore at this point like if it's over 100 i'm knocking over the camera and quitting like i just i don't know what to do i don't think that poke gave me enough okay my finger is just rebelling against me like it doesn't want me to test because it knows what's gonna happen There it is, 82, 82. So we are coming back. We're coming back down, but damn, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so that's good. I'm excited to see that. One more test after 30 minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, coming back to you one last time to see what's really good or uh, really, really bad in this case uh, about the peach mangoes at Fizz. We are at the two hour mark and I expect my blood sugar to have gone down even more. You guys, I'm trying to do both sides of my finger, like switch it around, but this left side does not want to cooperate. One eternity later. Sixty nine. Okay, woo, that, that is a sigh of relief. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, so let's do some recapping. In the beginning, my resting blood glucose was 71. At the 30 minute mark, it had jumped up to 90. That is a 19 point jump. And by the 60 minute mark, it was 97. 
So in total, that's a 26 point jump. Like, that's what I would expect from like a Quest bar or something. You telling me I'm drinking 16 ounces of beverage and my blood glucose is gonna go up by 26? Like, uh-uh. But we did see that that was the peak and at the 90 minute mark, it was back to 82, which was good. And then by the two hour mark, I'm back to where I started, 69. So, <sighs> what does that tell us? Honestly, that all zip fizzes are not created equal and that peach mango is showing it and like, I'm gonna have to rethink that. Now let's get real here. Am I never gonna have peach mango again? No, like I will still continue to drink it. I definitely have a lot of it left, so I'm definitely gonna drink that. But maybe I'll have it on my days when I haven't been fasting for so long or maybe I'll have it a little later in the day with another food so it's not the first thing in my bloodstream. But like, that is crazy and I honestly didn't expect that. I was like, oh, it's maltodextrin, but it's still two grams and I don't really respond that drastically to stuff. So it won't be that bad, but like a full 26 points, that is a lot. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I mean, so per tube, there are 20 calories and two grams of carbs. No fat, no protein. So you're thinking, you know, two grams of carbs, not bad, but like, yikes, at least for me, like it definitely had an effect and it will definitely make me rethink how often I buy peach mango zip fizz. Cause like I said, I'm still gonna buy them, but like definitely more sparsely in the rotation. Okay guys, what has been your experience with peach mango zip fizz? Have you had it? Do you like it? Have you tested your blood sugar? Have you noticed a difference in the way it makes you feel because of the maltodextrin? I want to know all about it in the comments because I guess I was just kidding myself like up until this point, but like, wow, that really does make a difference. And that's going to be something to think about moving forward. Man, man. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.